Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how to keep your gutters clean. The best way to keep your gutters clean, this is gonna be it. Real simple, summarized. Now this is gonna depend on your individual area on where you're located at. Basically, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you clean the gutters spring and fall. Keeping in mind that a spring and fall gutter cleaning, normally, depending on your area, usually will get you between a 70 to 80% flow rate usually right around there. 20-30% of the year they're still going to be clogged. So what you're going to have to do to keep those gutters draining and flowing and maintained, you're either going to increase the, the uh, cleanings, and this is going to vary dramatically on the type of home that you have. But guys, you got to keep it simple, kindergarten level style. Why are your gutters overflowing? Now, I get so many calls about, oh my gutters are overflowing, I need bigger gutters, I need bigger downspouts. Listen guys, there's no rocket science with gutters. Water comes from the roof, goes in the gutter, and down the drain. If you look at your gutters, and the gutters are not falling off of your house, the gutters are simply clogged. Don't think it any further than that. 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't need bigger gutters, and you don't need bigger downspouts. Most times, the gutters are just continuously clogged. And I get customers calling me, well, I, I just clean my gutters. I clean my gutters all the time, they always overflow. Listen. Water comes from the roof, goes into gutter and down a drain. If your gutters are overflowing, most times they're clogged. Guys, on the bottom of the gutter, there's a big hole. A big hole on the bottom of your gutter that connects to the downspout. If the water can't go down that hole and it fills up in the gutter and goes over the gutter, obviously the gutters are clogged. Also, I'll get pointed out from customers, well, I got a big hole in my gutter. Water's pouring off the bottom of my gutter. The best way to think about that is if you fill the glass up in the sink, the water doesn't necessarily overflow out of the top of the glass. It sticks to the glass, pours off of the bottom of the glass. It's water retention. It's the same thing with gutters. When the gutters are clogged, the water fills up, overflows, sticks to the face of the gutter, and pours off of the bottom of the gutter. So don't overthink that. The best way to properly maintain those gutters and get the highest flow rate, get the gutters cleaned on a schedule that works for you and the individual types of trees that you have at your home, which is gonna vary. On average, you're gonna to wanna to do it between two to four times a year, noting any time you see the gutters overflow, you're gonna to have to get the gutters cleaned out again, keeping it that simple, okay? And now if you're cleaning your gutters two, three, four times a year, and they're still overflowing, you're gonna to wanna to look at a gutter guard. Just click the link up above here, learn a little bit about a gutter guard and what to expect if you was to get a gutter guard installed. So guys, that's how to keep your gutters clean and flowing as long as possible. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, get notified every time that I post a video. Don't forget to like and share the video, guys. Thanks a lot.